folks, Jonathan here. Got a brand new camera. And we're gonna see how it works out. I'm filling up this uh, tote. Probably not as tall as I need, but we'll fill it up through to the top and try to start this thing up and let it idle a little bit. Just make sure the water pump's still pumping and all that. I really need to replace it, but I don't have time before I want to go fishing, so. Uh, this thing originally did not have the, the tube where it shot the water out, so I actually drilled and tapped the top of the head and added it, and that way you'll know when it's pumping or not. But anyway, we're going to try to do some catfishing here tonight if this works out. Okay, folks, on the way to fish. Uh, I'll tell you what, it's been a long time, but uh, I didn't even get to wash my truck. It's still dirty after sitting for a year and a half. Let's just hope I don't have any trouble. I drove it this morning and had a heater hose break, you know, the plastic part where it goes into the uh, heater core, so I had to fix that. So we're hoping everything's gonna be fine. We'll see how it works out. Okay, folks, I have uh, made it here to the river. Uh, my boat is not running right at all. Uh, I actually running on one cylinder, and uh, it's a plug issue, but I don't have a plug wrench or plugs with me. Uh, I actually have some at home, but I, I didn't I didn't put them on the boat and I uh, should have but I didn't and uh, Anyway, so I made it just a little ways up uh, You can see the bridge down here the dock is Just before the bridge on the left and I figured I'd just make it upstream a little bit I'd be alright and I can come downstream and uh, the, the currents flowing a, a little bit So we can get back but uh, what I ended up doing, I'm having some uh, live well issues also, so I went ahead and as I caught some bait, I just put it on the poles, threw them out. I don't know if everybody else has the same kind of problems I have, but, you know, I always have all kinds of issues when I fish, and, uh, you know, you, they're rough. Some of them are real rough, but uh, anyway, so what, uh, what the plan is here is if, uh, if I get anything... I will uh, I'll flip the lights on overhead because it's going to be probably dark and I will flip the lights on I got the uh, we're in about 15 feet of water uh, which is about what I want to be I got poles toward the bank I actually got poles this way and I try to catch one more bait fish before it gets dark and put it out between me and the bank and uh, like I said, fishing with live brim, uh, using the circle hooks, and using bait clicker on free wheel. So if we get one, you know, you don't have to pull it to set the hook. You just got to basically stop the line, you know, from going out. And, uh, you know, you want them to take it a little bit. And it usually works out pretty good. I mean, you don't miss a lot this way, but... Uh, usually, I found that if you miss one, it's probably because it was a small fish. It grabbed your bait and ran. And uh, but this is not a very good place in the river to fish. That's another thing too. But but I'm going to take advantage of uh, whatever I can do. You know, it's better than uh, just giving up and not going back. So I think I'm going to try to catch one more bait fish here real quick and get it set out. And then we'll go from there. And hopefully, all my lights are working. Turn the rear light on first here. Huh? Yep. And we got front, other front, yep. So we should be able to see fine. I'll try to get the video the best I can. And uh, the next trip will be somebody with me, so we'll be have, we'll have somebody to be able to video. But. Okay, so I got caught one more. I put a pole out on this side, on the right side between the boat and the shore. Got one here, that's two, got three, going out that way. Four, going straight back. Five, going back at an angle. And number six this way, and number seven out that way. So, uh, like I said, we'll just wait around and see what happens. And uh, I don't have any extra bait because I my live well, but I'm going to have to order a pump. But here's what I catch uh, all my bait on. This is a little dock devil, just a little tiny short reel. And I just hide it up under my console here. And that way it's always there and it stays in the dry when I need it so and this fish here is pretty active uh, 
he's bouncing the pole a little bit, so that's a good thing. But we'll see what happens. Uh, it's actually a lot darker out here than what this camera shows. That's one of the reasons I bought another one of these cameras. I actually got the same one I had, which is a Sony Handycam, but I got a, a little better version. I can actually do live streaming with this one and stuff. But uh, anyway, we'll just hang out here and see what happens and go from there. One point out really slow. Sometimes that's good. Pretty good one. Let my drag up a little bit. Okay, I got the camera where you can see it. I don't like light. Yeah, he ain't that big. He fought hard to be so small. All right, let me let him back. We'll go for some more. He got my bait, so that's, uh, that's all I got. All right, we got another one. Took off quick, probably a small one. All right. Another flat, about the same size. Circle hooks usually get them in the corner of the mouth. That's pretty good because I didn't, you know, there's not many fish down here at all anyway. Not where I'm at. So, not too bad. That one's maybe a little bit smaller. Maybe eight. All right, I'll show you more if we get another one. I've only got uh, five poles left with bait, so we'll see what happens. All right, folks, we got another one here. Probably another small one. Under the boat, under the boat, come on. He's moving fast, he's probably small. Another small one. Even smaller, actually. Better than nothing, I suppose. All right, we're down to four baits. Let's 
so. Put her back and go again. I wasn't expecting on catching anything, so I'm surprised I caught them three, but them were them were three small fish. I usually don't catch fish that small. Uh, I went one year and 20 pounds was the smallest one I caught. But, uh, this is just not a good place where I'm at. Not a good location at all for flatheads. And uh, you're better off to get around some snags and some rocks and, and uh, you know, where their, their habitat is. This is just a sort of a wide open area with not much cover. So, uh, But it, I let the boat choose where I went this time. And uh, I know I'm calling this bait brim. Here in North Carolina, that's what they call sunfish and bluegill. And, uh, you know, some places call them perch. And, but uh, that's what they are. Here is a brim. Okay, folks, I think I'm going to call it a night on this one. It's about 1030, uh, which is earlier than I usually leave. But, uh, like I said, I'm just not in a good spot. i got to limp this boat back. It's only running on one cylinder. It's going to be fun to load. I've been dreading this, but, uh, you know, I'd rather sit right here, but i got to go. Okay, folks, I'm on the way back from this fishing trip. Going home, and I figured I'd tell you a story, and this is 100% true. This actually happened to me today kind of a uh, kind of a weird story here uh, most of y'all know I drive a, a 57 international pickup truck and that was the, the one day rat rod build the first one so today I had a heater hose uh, with actually the plastic end that goes onto the heater core on, the, on this particular pickup truck I'm driving this 2500 HD I had it uh, break on me today and I lost all my water. I called my son, he brought my roll back and we towed it back and uh, I decided I'd jump in the International and go to the parts store and pick up a, you know, the heater hose fitting that pops on and, you know, uh, some more Dex, Dexco and uh, a couple other things and uh, what happened was when I walked out to the truck, I had my truck parked in the storage lot get it out of the way but when I walked out there there was there was a snake there and he was right around five foot long you know four and a half five foot long skinny uh, wasn't a black snake but it was in the black snake family of some kind it had some designs on it but it wasn't one of them black racers but uh, non-poisonous but I tried to get a hold of it and uh, tried to put my foot on it and he scurried away real fast up under my truck and I looked up under the truck and he had climbed inside of the rim on the front left wheel. And, you know, there was no way of me getting a hold of him. And so I decided to drive forward about 10 feet. And I did. I got out of the truck. And when I got out, I looked up under and I didn't see him anywhere. I didn't see him in the wheel. Just had no clue where he went. So, uh... I just assumed maybe he ran off, but you never know. So I went back in the house to get my stuff to go, and I told my wife, I, you know, that I'd seen one, and that uh, I said, you know, that thing might have crawled up in my truck. But anyway, I went out and got in the truck, and started down the road, and I made it about two miles from the house, and I felt something tugging on my shirt on the left side, right around my waistline, and. Uh, I looked down and there was that snake biting me, or biting my shirt. And uh, so, you know, I I couldn't do anything really but laugh. I mean, I thought it was actually pretty daggone funny because I, I was joking about it being in my truck. So I raised up a little bit and shot over to the right off the road. I was doing about 55, 60 and hit the brakes. And I didn't want to lock them up with, a, I had a car behind me so I, I eased off the road some before I got on the brakes hard. I got her stopped and opened the door and that snake popped out and hit the road and took off to the other side of the road and by the time I got to the other side somebody had run over but, uh, and killed it. But, uh, you know, I think it's a good time to uh, maybe patch the holes in that floor on that truck. I've got, I've got, I bet I know where he crawled in was right around the steering column. You know, I never did put any kind of boot or anything around that, but anyway, I thought you'd enjoy that story, and that's, uh, that happened today, and I told my son, I said, you know, the day I'm having, I ought to go back to bed, and then, you know, I get up there, and my boat didn't run right, and 
Uh, but, you know, a day's a day, so. Anyway, I've got about 20 more miles to get back home, so. All right, you, uh, you'll see the next fishing adventure there. All right.